In February, the Lotus Racing Team presented its new Formula One crew, including the drivers and the race car. Journalists and Lotus fans were invited to the Royal Horticultural Hall in London to admire the brand new Lotus Cosworth T127. Team Chief Tony Fernandez proudly presented the three drivers, Jarno Trulli, Heike Kovalainen, and Fyrus Fauzi. The green and yellow car will help the team establish itself once again in the coming season in Formula One. The seasoned racing pro Jarno Trulli reigns in his expectations a bit, however. For this year we have to be uh, very uh, realistic. We know that um, <coughs> we are heading to Bahrain and having to deal with a lot of troubles and solve the problem. And I think the most important thing is that we stick together and we know that we have to be patient. For the first year we need to be reliable, decent and showing good progress. Uh, we, we cannot uh, believe that uh, we join the club straight away and be on the top. It's, it's unrealistic. Also the Finn Heike Kovalainen looks ahead to the new season, patient yet highly motivated. Well I think um, you know, the target has, has to always be as high as possible, but uh, at the moment, you know, we haven't even been able to try our car yet, so I think we have to wait for the first test to see where we are, and then we can make a better, better expectations, better targets, but uh, I'd like to see us growing as a team, you know, make improvements to the car, and, uh, and become a professional racing team. I think, you know, we are quite, uh, you know, we have a handicap compared to the other teams because we have started so late, but uh, I think... I think we can show to other people that we can also be a professional team and, um, and then after that uh, we start making better goals. The basis to keep up with the other teams this season is a competitive car. We always said we wanted to produce a good, solid, professional car that's a 2010 car, it's not, a two, you know, it's not three years old or four years old, it's, it's current and that's not too far off the back of the established teams and I think we'll have, you know, we've got to wait and see but I'm confident we'll have achieved that. It needed to be a green and yellow car and it needed to have the chassis designation T127 which is the next Lotus type number. Um, if it didn't have either of those it wasn't a real Lotus. Lotus has great chances at surprising everyone this 2010 season with its experienced drivers and motivated team.